Welcome to 1339. And what happened last year? <laughs> oh, uh, Molly aged up into a teenager. She will be getting married and having five baby tries. Um, we uh, had Matilda lost her baby. That was unfortunate. And Eric died. So now Milo is officially the head of the household. All of those things happened in the last one. And yeah, I think we are pregnant. Matilda is pregnant. I added the baby to the family tree. Yeah, nothing too exciting there. Okay, so this year is a big year for us. I'm excited. Um, so first, Ethelred needs to get married. Um, I'm going to have her marry Ellis Walter, who if you um, don't remember, he is the eldest son of the Walter family. He was originally in like a side family of the Walters, but since the main family never had any sons, he is getting like the estate. So he is a nice wealthy guy, uh, first son, and um, he'll be a good match for the daughter of a lord. He is a little bit older than her. Um, his, yeah, his birthday to become an adult is like right here, but I want to use the sims that I have in my world and Honestly, it wouldn't be heartbreaking for me if they didn't have that many kids <laughs> because we have a lot of sims on the tree anyway. Also today, uh, Randy is finally aging up into a child and uh, I did add someone new to the tree, which we will see later on in the year, um, but that will be saved for that situation. And then um, tomorrow, Bjorn. Oh my gosh, Bjorn, he's aging up into a teenager. Wow, I didn't realize he was like right behind Milo. Okay, well, we'll age up Bjorn into a teenager as well and see if he rolls to get married. So that's great. That is what's going on. Um, but yes, Cecilia is uh, my pick for Milo and we will find out about her story or at least some of it right now and uh, maybe a little bit more later. Just a little hint because you know I'm dying to tell you, but I can't. I can't. It's a secret. <laughs> so let's hop into the game. Alrighty, so first we're going to get Ethelred married. We can see we're just changing this really quickly, and here we go. Um, he's a nice guy. Honestly, the Walters haven't really been in our view for quite some time, so it's pretty nice that um, we can bring them back. If you remember, um, the Walters was the family that the um, that Hugo II was going to marry into, but then. Um, instead, Mabel married into the big family because she got pregnant. And then later, after Dante died, she then married Hugo after all. So we did marry into that family briefly, some time ago. <laughs> but uh, yes, so here we are with them. And she's pregnant now. Excellent. Let's add her in. Their family color is yellow. So we're all set there. And we're actually entering Gen 3. So Ethelred is the first person in Generation 3 to get married. How exciting is that? I'm pretty happy about it. So let's change her outfit colors to yellow. Of course. She is now part of the Walter family. Do, do, do. Okay. And then we are going to just update this, and then we will actually head over to the church because I want to get their wedding picture done. Um, I'm just going to make a note here that Ellis was not part of the main family. He, you know, we, I already told you, but anyway, so I'm just making a note there that that's happening, and then we will quickly get a uh, marriage portrait. I have to, you know, make mausoleum and blah, 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 so um, I'm actually going to skip some of this because it took me most of the day, <laughs> uh, most of the sim day, to do all of this stuff because I have to get their portrait. I forgot I never got a portrait for Elric, so we need to get Elric a portrait, and then I need to make a new mausoleum because we didn't have one for the color yellow, and it was just this whole thing. <laughs> so... Um, because of all of that, it did end up taking most of the day. So I'll just skip ahead. And here we are at the end of that. Here is their new spot. And we are going to 
can move on and uh, go home to our uh, main family, the Leifstons. Um, also, I'm just going to save a version of this to my gallery just in case I, um, you know, in case everybody in this household dies or something happens and then I have a problem because, um, you know, when there's no more Sims in the house, all the stuff inside gets sold. So we're just avoiding that. And here we go. Also, it's good to save that kind of stuff because, like, in my last Legacy play, after a while, it, um, like, the pictures would start to glitch out and stuff. So it's it's good to save every once in a while. Anyway, we're home, but since we didn't make it home before 6 a.m., there is nothing to do, really, on the farm because none of the plants generated or anything. So that's fine, but it is also... Um, Randy's birthday so we will be rolling for Randy and then finding out if she survives our cow's doing well okay yeah we're in good shape so Randy is going to yes become a child she did survive that so let's just put her name on here and we'll see next time if she becomes a teenager but this time she is now a child and we will uh, roll. She actually rolled the evil trait. <laughs> so, okay, Randy. Um, she rolled the evil trait. That's what's happening here. I actually didn't even know that this hair had a bow on the back. I feel like some of these pictures do not tell me actually what's going on. But anyway, um, we are going to just pick out a little look for her. I like this outfit. Um, there are the hair with the bangs. So, uh, of course, I forgot that I was in the winter clothes, but anyway, let's change her into, um, I picked this outfit because I figure, um, you know, if she's evil, she's probably a little more, you know, getting into stuff and um, needs her clothes mended a little more often. Um, maybe in this time, she's considered a little more evil than she is because she doesn't act like a proper lady or something like that. So, anyway, we are all set there. You guys, we only have one toddler left, <laughs> and Milo's getting married this year, so um, we will start to have babies again soon. But anyway, he is all set. It is nighttime now, but that's okay. Why Why don't we um, get another bed in here? I'm, I miscounted the beds, to be completely honest with you. I thought we needed one more, and we actually don't, so that's my bad, but anyway... <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, all right, so here we are. The baby stinks, so let's give Margaret a quick bath. Very nice. And then uh, everyone's hungry, so we will get him cooking. Of course, there is water all over the floor. And then we'll have everyone eat something. Oh, everyone's got to go to the bathroom as per usual. So there is that. Okay. You're good. And we, um, yeah, we have a few things to roll for, but uh, we'll roll for Bjorn tomorrow. Actually, it's kind of funny that all of the birthday rolls for today are happening in our household. So that is, it's really interesting, I think. Oh, she's angry. Don't be angry. Okay. You're all set. Yeah, I think we're in good shape, although it's 3 in the morning, but let's have everyone take a quick nap. Even if you're not tired, I need you to go to bed because it is the middle of the night. And you can wake up in a couple hours, and then we will uh, take care of the farm. Also, we'll roll for Bjorn, and then I, we really need to get started on Milo's uh, relationship stuff. Honestly, I probably should have gotten started on it sooner, like, to... to have the buildup be a little longer so that we could get him married on his day to get married because we can we're still going to try to do that but like it feels kind of silly to start the day before and be like oh yes they they got close to each other over the course of one day <laughs> so oh well uh, anyway Bjorn does survive his role so let's just put him in here and then um, he actually does not roll to marry how interesting is that? So Bjorn will not be getting married. Interesting. Let's roll. And actually, I'm going to pick Child of the Ocean because I don't want to have him just become a priest. I don't want to always just default to priest or nun. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that um, Bjorn 
you know, had grown up on stories from his father and then his uncle about pirate life and about, you know, sailing the seas and all this cool stuff. So I think that what uh, Bjorn is thinking is that he is going to go off, um, you know, and join a pirate ship and become a pirate and just live that kind of lifestyle. Um, you know, maybe he'll decide to settle down. Probably not since he's never going to get married. But, you know, we'll see what happens with him. Um, we'll revisit him in a little while, but uh, he's going to stay with us for the rest of this year. But after that, we're going to move him and he's going to go be a pirate for a while. And then maybe, um, you know, he'll have a little storyline of his own after some time. So let's just change his outfits. I think he is good. Yeah, we're just changing. Um, I actually really like that hair. I think that that's a great hair. I don't know if it's super appropriate for the time period, but maybe it's like messy and down and medium length. Anyway, here he is. He's a good looking kid. Very nice. So he wants to be a pirate. Here we go. Moving right along, we are going to now um, just get a, you know some stuff done, but I want to go and find uh, the wife that I did make for Milo. I was thinking about having her show up somewhere around here, but there aren't really woods and stuff here. So I remembered that really pretty looking gazebo at the a lot that I um, that I put the church on. So we're gonna head over there. Okay, so after the setup, Milo is just talking to his bird friends. Ignore the Sims that aren't dressed right in the background. Um, he's just talking to his bird friends and he looks over and he sees this woman crying. She's crying on the gazebo. And so he's going to go over and introduce himself to her. She's also very angry. <laughs> um, so this is Cecilia. And um, he kind of introduces himself and is talking to her and is like, hey, are you okay? Whatever. And she is, you know, beside herself and she's very upset and I'm just kind of looking at the area but uh, I think we're fine to stay at the gazebo and uh, they're going to talk and he's just going to try to make her feel better and she you know basically tells him that she has nowhere to go that she has no family she has no nothing and so he feels really bad for her and he's like well the church is right there they can help and she's like no 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 I can't go to the church and it's all very suspicious but he gets like an instant crush on her and so he's like well I mean you could come home with me if you wanted I have an extra bed and just kind of you know he he does he actually does have a crush on her so um he's going to overlook some potential red flags <laughs> And uh, because he can tell she's a good person, she does have the good traits. So he can tell that she's a good person and he feels bad for her. And so she's really relieved that someone's going to help her out. And he's just like feeling really attracted to her. So um, he has her come home with him just to, you know, maybe get back on her feet or something. So they head home and he just, you know, brings her in and is like, hey, here's my new friend, Cecilia. <laughs> and, um, you know, everybody's just like, whatever. Bjorn is probably like, dude. <laughs> um, but yes, so he wanted to cloud gaze with Revna, but for some reason it's never getting checked off. I love that this is so buggy. Anyway, um, so... Cecilia comes upstairs and she gets settled in. She tries to do some chores to help out, but the laundry does not get clean again. So we have to delete the thing again because it's not working and the laundry is glitchy and I hate it. Okay, so um, we are just going to get rid of this stuff. And then, um, you know, she's just trying to help out. She's trying to be useful because she knows that, um, you know, they're very nice to help her. And it honestly makes her feel more at ease that it's a house full of, you know, teenagers and younger. Um, she she definitely would worry if, like, there were a bunch of adults around to start asking questions and stuff. So they're just chatting and, you know, Milo is kind of asking her about her life and she just basically says, you know, I'm an orphan. I have no one. I have nothing. And, um, you know, it's really hard anyway. So he's feeling very protective of her and very flirty because he's got this big crush on her and whether or not it's appropriate for someone to flirt with someone that is in your care that you are supposed to be helping. Um, 
to, you know, worry about any potential obligational feelings, but <laughs> we're going to ignore any um, potential problematic um, things in this. <laughs> and Milo is just going to take care. He's going to, um, you know, make the food. And she's feeling flirty, too. She likes him, too. And she's feeling good. And I think that it's really the first time in her life that anyone has done so much for her um, in her life. Most people have just either helped her because they wanted something or like, you know, there was some kind of like duty or whatever because she was an orphan. And so there's just a lot in her backstory that um, will come up later. But for right now, Milo is totally fine with not asking detailed questions. He's like, wow, this beautiful girl, like, it's great. Everything's wonderful. And um, he is totally oblivious to any problems that could arise from the situation. And I love that about him. I mean, he's just a farm boy. Both his parents are dead and he's responsible for his whole family. And there's just like, I don't expect him to be that worldly. He's he's barely 16. <laughs> so uh, Bjorn is going to practice his uh, fighting here. And yeah, we're in good shape. So I'm trying again with Revna, but it's just not working. I don't know what to do. Anyway, so, you know, since it's a year, each day would be three months. So let's say, you know, it's been three months and him and... Cecilia have gotten much closer and everything's going really great and he just kind of you know says to her well I know that we said that you were just going to stay until you figured stuff out but you could stay forever and so he's going to tell her that he really likes her and that he you know has gotten to know her over the past couple of months and really you know has is feelings for her and she's going to reciprocate those feelings. She is very happy um, to have found a home and a family and she loves all of the little siblings and it's just like really a great atmosphere compared to what she's used to um, and it's just really special. So they are going to decide to get married. Yay! So they have decided to get married and um, they are now sleeping together. <laughs> so that is where we're going to wrap up. Actually, I know that there's one more day in the year technically, but, uh, this video, like I, there's a lot of footage here, so I don't want to just keep staying with that for now. So, um, we are going to wrap up here and I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'm really excited about Milo starting his own family and I think it's going to be great. So I am really excited for that. And we will change all of her outfits to blue. So welcome Cecilia Leifson to the family. She has this nice dress. Why her dress is nice. You can think about it. And um, I will catch you in the next one.